in the name of God, peace. I'm making this very important speech to preserve the integrity and safety of members of the Maroon administration, as death threats have been made against both myself and others who are operating lawfully with the non-fiduciary duties under the 1738 Maroon Treaty. We ask the world to pay attention closely to activities unfolding over the next days, weeks, or months until an amicable resolution has been found with those who are hell-bent on creating chaos in a community that has remained peaceful for hundreds of years. From credible sources, our administration has learned that the Kompong citizens are under imminent threat of danger by a group of gunmen and agent provocateurs that may attack as early as this week. The imminent threat stems from an issue that I would have reported to the police in August of last year and personally met with members of the major organized crime task force, MOCA, in Kingston, as, it believe, as, it, as, it, as I believe this imminent threat is stemming from that information and data shared with MOCA a year ago. A year ago. We have yet to receive any response from any of the relevant authorities. Under Maroon constitutional law, pursuant to Article 3, Section 3, Read Dangerous Weapons, I have ordered for signs to be erected stating that individuals carrying firearms will not be allowed to proceed on the Maroon private estate without first making a declaration for permission to be granted by the full council. The great Malcolm X, peace be upon to him, once said, a race of people is like an individual man. Until it uses its own talent, uses its pride, takes pride in its own history, expresses its own culture, affirms its own selfhood, it can never fulfill itself. I have looked into this statement deeply as I try to understand the historical problem our people face of continually submitting to the influence of external forces to perpetuate division amongst our people, especially those who are righteously fighting each day to preserve public trust and the Maroon estate. The Akompong Maroon administration is currently engaged in the defense of the leeward Trelawney Town Maroon estate as our ancestors were prior to 1738. And as such, our administration has implemented protocols to prevent any attempt to destabilize the Maroon legal position. Therefore, the government has taken a number of steps to secure life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness of our people. I have provided my legal team with a list of names and data that they should share with the police and necessary authorities, both locally and internationally, so as to protect myself and members of my administration and the community. I will end now how I started with another great Malcolm X speech, Malcolm X quote, peace be upon to him. When a person places the proper value on freedom, there is nothing under the sun that he will not do to acquire that freedom. Whenever you hear a man saying he wants freedom, but in the next breath, he's going to tell you what he won't do to get it or what he doesn't believe in, in doing in order to get it. He doesn't believe in freedom. A man who believes in freedom will do anything under the sun to acquire or preserve his freedom. Assalamu alaikum.